Hello, welcome into Shade House. Shade House is a place where we have six people who live together and we observe how they react. Sometimes we meddle in their affairs. So last week, Seance Knowles had brought in a spooky ghost into the house, this little tiny blob of a ghost that's been floating around. So she released that from the nether. She also brought in Bone Hilda, who's been running around and cleaning up the house. So on top of our regular maid that we have, now we've got Bone Hilda. And there's a very suspicious romance that's developing between Bone Hilda and Seance Knowles. So I guess we'll see this week if anything continues to develop between them. Stella last week took Seance, Alada, and Jolene up to the nail salon. And once again, Seance took the show away from everybody and went and got into a big paranoid fight with one of the paparazzi who was in there taking photos of somebody. And Seance just assumed that she was being filmed and recorded. So that was a really fun time. Jolene has been going out to the clubs, has been dancing their life away, been trying to get better at the dance battles. They keep challenging people. And we also have been seeing a lot of Herman Merman just kind of like vibing. We don't really know what his goals are for Shade House. He doesn't have a job. He's literally just hanging out. So we'll see if he makes any progress this week. Let's jump into Shade House and see what happens this time and see what chaos ensues. is over here making something he just poured something in here what was that oh he's making pan de muerto i didn't know that he could make that uh what happened in here scavenge for parts i'm so, i'm confusion okay so it's late everybody should be going to bed we're gonna put everyone to sleep taco pirate day was pretty good for jolene it was awesome for stella it was pretty good for alexander it was awesome for seance it wasn't up to Alada's expectations. She wanted to be more of a pirate. And Herman had a pretty good day. <laughs> Alada just came back, so now she can go straight up to bed. Oh, Seance said, it is two in the morning, but you know what? I gotta go boogie down. I would like to check everybody's work schedules. I wanna see what everybody's doing and what everyone's up to for tomorrow, because I would love to take them out, because it is, it's winter time. I would love to take them out and have them go to the new the new area in town. Oh, look at her go. Wait, I'm gonna turn this up so we can vibe more. Let's turn this up. Change volume. Let's make that high. There we go. There you go, girl. Give us nothing. Oh, oh, she said workout time. Oh, Jolene said, it's, it's also time for me to go boogie. No, babe, you gotta go sleep. All right, Herman is up. And he's feeling ah. flirty. I mean, Susa. you look like this. You can be as flirty as you want whenever you want. He still wants to work out at a gym venue, which we did actually build. I'm going to have him go take a quick travel. Let's go to the gym, Reaper. The party's upstairs, but we should get changed. Let's go change into towel. Oh, Alexander looks so freaking good. How dare he? Oh, he didn't want to be in his towel anymore. He said it's hot weather time. Look, it's Hollister. There he goes. <laughs> Hollister's always running around. Climb with gentle incline. I've never seen this. Oh, you got it. You got it. Climb it, baby. Look at this lady over here. She's harassing this poor man. You bitch. You better lift those weights. You better do this. Oh, he's thinking about Alexander. She's fierce. <laughs> he just bitch slapped it. <laughs> he said, hello, I'm here to fight. Pow. Your mother's a hoe. Slap you. Slap you again. And slap it one more time. Move, I'm gay. And kick in the nuts. 
and a kick in the cooch, and another kick in the nuts. Yeah, show it who's boss. You're doing the thing, baby. I feel like in Mean Girls, I just want to like record him and be like, you're doing great, sweetie. You're doing great. You're doing the thing. Oh my god, he's like so good though. Here you go, let's go home. Get out of here, let's go. We'll check in on Alexander who is literally itchy and gross and is down here making some meat. It says scratchy from illness. It feels as, it feels like there's a swarm of invisible insects marching all yes. over Alexander's skin. Oh, this hoe got scabies somehow. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and head out. Let's go, girls. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. All right, travel. We're gonna go to the ice skating rink. Let's take Jolene. We're gonna take Herman. We can take Denny with us. Y'all, I forgot about something. So Alexander obviously existed in the world before he moved into Shade House, and I did some tw I did some twerk on him to make his butt bigger, and I played with him a little bit so I could get him buff. He was outside, and was like doing some workouts. And Denny Breakfast walked by. So Alexander was like, hey, I like you. You're cute. And tried to date him. But Denny didn't want anything to do with him because he was still really thin and twinky. So Alexander got really buff, ran into him again, and invited him inside. And Denny said yes, because he was buff and fit. So then they did the woohoo thing. Or they tried to do the woohoo thing, but Denny wouldn't unless they were boyfriends. So, Alexander became boyfriends with Denny, woohooed with him, and then immediately broke up with him and sent him packing. So, Denny hates us. <laughs> We're going to take Seance and Alada. We'll see if Stella wants to come, but she's working, so I don't think she will. But let's go, and let's take Jacques. Look at these Santa statues. This is really fun. We're going to go here together. Oh, let's get drinks. Oh, hey, look at this girl getting down over here. She looks like Janet from Three's Company. Let's go ahead and order some drinks for everybody. Order drinks for the group, except for John. We don't need to order drinks for John, 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 because he's a child. Let's get the Plasma Jane for everyone. Plasma Jane's all around. Wait, is there a cat in here? Oh, look at this little kitty. Who is this queen? Yes, ma'am. Alexander's just hanging out behind the bar right now. Alexander said, I don't work here, but I could if I wanted to, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Now that we've had a drink, now that we're all looped up, customize the rink, set music. What? Music auto plays. And let's set lighting. Turn on party lights. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! Confetti. Stars, sparkles. Oh, hell yes, let's make it as gay as possible. Also, Jacques is here alone. Who is home with John, John, John? All right, here we go. Oh no, he's gonna fall. He's gonna fall on his big dumpy. Look at them all struggle bussing. Oh no, not him falling. I don't know who you, Cassandra, please leave me alone. I don't wanna talk to you. I moved out for a reason. Get a life. Get a hobby. Learn to crochet. Oh no, Jolene's gonna fall too. Oh, Alada had to go. Alada said, you know what? This has been really fun. I had my drink. I'm gonna go work now. I'm gonna go be an adult. Oh no, Alexander's bored. Oh yeah, it's guys night. Gentlemen Sims can saunter up to the bar for discount drinks. Oh heck yes. Well, let's get drunk then, boys. Hey, girl. Can I get a drink, please? Order guys night drink. We're gonna get some more of, let's get juice on the rocks. Wait, who's this cute guy? Hello? He looks like a Broadway star or something. Oh, he's a spin master. Yeah, he looks like he could play like Link Larkin in a off-Broadway version of Hairspray. Are you a top or are you a bottom? And that's what we gotta find out right now. Cause, I mean, Alexander's definitely a bottom. Oh, just immediately blowing kisses. Cause, I mean, two bottoms don't make a top. What are you gonna do, bump purses? Alexander has learned that Joaquin dislikes painting. Oh, well it's over. 
Well, fuck Joaquin then. You know what? I bet Jolene might have good luck with Joaquin. Although, Jolene also smells. Okay, Joaquin Loki is like really cute though. Hey, how are you, daddy? He's not interested. Ask, get to know? Excuse you. Herman. Are you trying to move in on this man that we're all trying to move in on? Let's do a funny introduction. Let's see how this one goes. Jolene needs to go and shower. It was very nice to meet you, but I'm gonna go home now. Okay, so it hasn't worked out for Alexander. Hasn't really worked out for anybody else. Let's do a heartfelt compliment. Also, not discuss local fishing spots. Kiss hand right off the bat. Herman came here to get some bussy. Oh? Are we going to move really fast? That moved so fast. I hate that. He's like, and this is my dick pic. Oh, no, not laughing at it. Off a road. Wait, did Joaquin flirt back? Literally. Alexander flirted. Did not work. Also, Alexander needs to go home. Go home, sir. Alexander's just getting turnt over here. Alexander flirted. It didn't work. Jolene tried to flirt. That didn't work. Freaking Herman moves in over here. Herman immediately lays on the hand kisses and just go. Okay. All right, we gotta get in drags. We gotta go out to the club. 4 a.m. gig. Oh, that's 4 a.m. It's gonna be 4 a.m. by the time they get there. We'll do this one. We haven't done the red fit in a while. All right, come over here and show off the moves. A light spin. We'll do an arm charm. Stomp in here. Come on, give us nothing. <laughs> I love that dance move. It's so good. Hell yes, you better vogue. Better go with the flow. Oh. She's kind of in tune. Oop. Maybe that was a mistake. There's only one person at the bar and it's Etsuko. And Etsuko is, I don't think, very impressed right now. Etsuko, do you wanna give me a tip? I'm here working for tips. Etsuko is a huge tipper. Etsuko just gave 10 for the New Year's song. Let's get on the mic over here. All right, bitches, are you ready to have a good night? Bella Goth! We're gonna dance battle Bella Goth, cause why not? Cut the music short, dead ass. Oops, Jolene, Jolene just did a backflip! All right, Jolene, do that backflip again. Show everybody what you can do. Go! Oh, no more of this. <laughs> Bye. I gotta go. Wig snatch. Out of here. Bye, mama. We're just murdering a random sim. My name is Granola Smith, and this is my kitty cat, Poncho. The way I want this to turn into, like, a poltergeist-style situation, but it's the ghost of Granola Smith. Walking around. Walking around. Haunting everything. I cannot pet the kitties, for I am a ghost. Throwing the TV across the... And then the medium, just like, with everyone behind her, like, her, him, them, <laughs> her, her, just like, please, Granola, your soul, your soul is in peril, you must find <laughs> peace. Granola had one purpose in life, cats, and she'll be damned if that won't be her purpose in death. Granola Smith. We're gonna bring her into Shade House. Should we do the old Shade House thing and put her in the pool? Oh, Ponchy Ponchy, stay in the house. Granola's gonna go skinny dipping. <laughs> I'm just feeling so vitalized by these youths. Take off my cat sweater and go tits out into the swimming pool. Did Shade House, in fact, say, this cat is ours now and buy all this nice stuff for Poncho? Or did Granola march in, tits out, dump all of her cat's stuff throughout the house like oh we live here now it's me granola smith the newest member of shade house yeah like miss smith we only have three and three at a time and nobody's, you can't live here nobody's moved out 
I saw it on the YouTubes. I'm going to come join. <laughs> so dump in all of Poncho's stuff wherever she pleased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, I was going to pick my bed, but I think I'm going to go for a skinny dip first. <laughs> They're like, Granola, there's no bed for you. Yeah, so Granola marched her booty in here. She saw everything on the YouTubes and decided that this was the place for her. She had to live here. Did she like Samantha Karen Del Rio? I love Samantha Karen Del Rio. She was fierce. <laughs> There she goes. I just need to... <laughs> this is gonna go viral, I know Herman it. came to watch. Oh my god. That old woman is naked in our pool. <laughs> I can't watch this. Oh, oh my no. god, it's horrifying. <laughs> I mean, doing... she looks like she already died. Oh, yeah, daddy. <laughs> oh, do you want to go on a date? Yes. He's so cool. Aga. Oh. <laughs> Hell yes. Don't but does Herman them. want a boyfriend or does Herman just want to hook up? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, she said that's not where I should be at. I should go the opposite way. <laughs> let's stop chatting. Let's keep, let's keep macking. How is it so hot? All right, long back boy. Do you want to be his boyfriend? Do you want a hot body? Do you want a Maserati? Do you want a Bukkake? Oh, yes, there they go. Oh, and then a selfie, because we got to put it on Simstagram. I've seen every episode of Shade House. I remember when Samantha Karen let dead straight Don drown in the pool. Nothing bad could happen to me here at Shade House. Granola Smith played it too cool. She is freezing to death. Oh no, Shade House, I'm going to haunt you forever. At least she died with her clothes on. Oh, Herman brought his snacks. Oh, Herman said, you know what? I'm going to sit in the pool for this while I eat my plantain. <laughs> Why did Herman get <laughs> in the Speedo? <laughs> Look at Stella over here just being friends. Stella's like, oh, you know what? I didn't really know her that well. Oh, but I'm still sad about it, she says. <laughs> Ego came over here just to just to come and watch it. Dead Straight Dawn, you now have a friend. Let's put you right here. Nice. Let's buy toys for Poncho. Ooh, we'll buy a ball, ball, ball. Let's see. It's a burb. A cat dazzler. Hi, baby. Herman did not fall asleep out here. Herman, get out of, out of here right now. Go upstairs. Y'all. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Try to cheer up. You know what, Herman? You should invite your hot boyfriend over and sleep with them because they wouldn't come over yesterday. Oh, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Everything is okay. Oh, cute! Oh, baby! Oh, so cute. A little baby. It's just a little baby. Herman wasn't affected by her death. He's too upset that she died in the pool. It's true. Herman was just like, I'm not upset that the old lady came over here and broke into the house and then died naked in the pool. I'm upset that someone died in my sleep space. Oh, look at this little baby, though. He's going to go eat something, I think. Hello. You remember Joaquin, right? Well, this is my boyfriend. We're going to go woohoo now. Have fun, Jolene. Good luck mourning the old lady's death. I'm gonna go woohoo with my boyfriend. All right, let's go. <laughs> Alexander's trying to dance off the sads in the presence of death. I wonder how Seance is feeling right now. Seance is feeling energized, but she's also feeling paranoid that people are talking about her. She should go upstairs and go and summon the ghost of Granola and see if we can find out any information about her. They're gonna do light as a board, stiff as an arrow or something, whatever it's called. Oh! Oh, Jolene opened up their eyes to look around. They wanted to see what the tea was. Being dead ain't so bad, way less responsibility. Wait, where's a lot of? Come play with Poncho. Come meet the new cat, Simstagram pet. Hell yes. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this baby. Tomorrow is Winterfest. So what I think we're going to do is next week we'll go ahead and get Winterfest going. This week was a very interesting week. We had an old lady who just moved in, showed up because she had seen every episode of Shade House and decided that she had to live here too. She brought her cat, unloaded everything, and just freaking died inside the pool after deciding to skinny dip. We also got a brand new cat. His name is Poncho, and he's the very best of beans. We got to go ice skating, and Herman is starting down his path of boning down with as many people as possible. And I love that. So we'll see what happens next time on Shade House. But thank you all for watching.